Hello once again everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Shadow Complex. This is episode 30. In the last video we found a bunch more upgrades, made our way down here, and in this video we're gonna make our way over here because there's yet another upgrade that we can get. Yes, I told you the end of this game would degrade into completely just finding upgrades. We'll shoot him from above now that we have our handy dandy... Yes, I just said that, I don't know why. Our handy dandy thrust boots. Okay. Now I'm trying to get over into this room for that upgrade. So probably coming up here is our best bet since that's the only way into this room. Kill these guys. This is a thrust boot room. Or this is a friction dampener room, isn't it? It is. Okay. Now I don't really have much to work with, so getting the friction dampener to work in this room shouldn't be too difficult. Okay. How much room do I have over here? I have some room. This could work. Okay. There we go. Wow. That worked much easier than I thought. Oh, there's a missile door there. I didn't even see the missile door. And I was trying to put my flashlight on it, but it wouldn't work. So not only do you need the friction dampener, you also need the missiles. But I think if you already have the friction dampener, you should already have the missiles. If I remember correctly how the upgrades work. Our best way of getting into that orange area would be going up there. Yes, we will do that. I think our best way would be going up here. Of course, I don't know for absolute certain, but this is the way we're going to take because I find it quick, and it's actually going quick. And we just passed out that guy. He gets to live another day, unfortunately. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. They all just stop shooting me? Why? Why are they not dying? There we go. Thank you. Thank you for perishing, finally. So, we will climb up this way. Make our way slowly but surely over here into the save room. I think this is what I was trying to do. We'll get up and outside. Because if I remember correctly, you can actually get into the orange area from outside. Pretty sure. Okay. Get out of my way. I'm dying to the little fish. That's awesome. Okay. Before we go that way, though. And I said I was going to have the name, and I didn't even look it up. I'm such an ass. Somebody pointed out that this was here. They know who they are. Um, again, a regular viewer of mine. Somebody who points out a lot of things and helps me out, so I appreciate it. <laughs> Asked if there was anything up on the wall on the left, and then I said, if I remember correctly, in the comment I said something like, I don't think there is. But I didn't have my map upgrade at that time that shows me all the upgrades, and it turns out there is an upgrade up there. So. Now, I have to swim all the way back here to this area, which we've been before, and I'm going to use my little shortcut this time because I don't want to go through everything, and we can get up here, and then continue our way up here, and fall to our deaths. Not really. But luckily, every enemy is ignoring us, and somebody had asked, what is up this cliff facing? And I said nothing. Which was a blatant lie, because as you can see, our final pass key is up there, which is something we really cannot do without. So, thank you for whoever pointed that out. Again, I was supposed to look at the name, and I'm, I'm an idiot. I record a batch of these at once, so I planned on hopping on YouTube and checking it out before I started this, but then I jumped right in because my memory is terrible. So let's just make sure there's nothing significant over here, nothing that I can see, so let's just make our way way over here, all oh, thankfully. I was hoping that would kick in, because now we can just kind of make it, Oh, that wasn't cool. I was say we can take advantage of it to get across everything faster. So let's just make it up there, and now we're back where we began this video I believe. So. 
the way we want to handle this is we want to get into that yellow area from way over there. You guys have no idea where way over there is. Not yet, anyway. Until I get there. Because you don't know where I'm looking. Are you kidding me? How am I supposed to get up that? It's definitely possible. <laughs> Come on! Oh, you son of a bitch. I'm not going to <laughs> freaking find another way out here. There we go. Whew. Knew it was possible. Just a matter of putting forth that effort. So now we're way up here again, which is, as I've said multiple times, basically the scene for the end of the game ish. If I remember correctly, I don't even remember, to be honest with you. I keep saying that, and I don't even know if it's true. So don't believe me. I don't want to go in there. That's not a good idea. Alright, screw it. We have to go up here. Get up there. Thank you. Kill that guy. He's being just a jerk. Of the greatest kind. Or the worst kind. Now, uh, the way I want to go in is right around here. Drop down. Come around. And right here. And the game just lagged a little bit. And guess where we are, guys? That's right. We're at the very beginning of the game. Let's make sure that there's nothing secret here. Upgrade wise. But yes, we are. We've come full circle. And we are at the beginning of the game. Oh, okay, there we go. Phew. Oh. Right. This door, this upgrade, is something we can't do just yet. I don't believe. Can I get down there from here? I think I can. Why am I going this way? Through the vents. When I could have went the other way, and it would have been much, much, much faster. Want to know why? Because I'm an idiot. We'll have to come back to that room, though, at some point. Or another. Now we can climb up here, come over here, and make our way down here, which we've been before also. This room was a lot more threatening when we were like level 2 or whatever we were. And we are coming through here. Not so threatening now. So we come through here, and we come up here to make sure that we're not missing an upgrade inside of a save room. I don't see anything, hopefully that means nothing is in there, but as we've already known, that means absolutely nothing. Now you guys might remember, I swear I killed you, go down, there were hidden things on this ride that we weren't able to do before because we didn't have missiles. Well guess what we have now, if you guess missiles you are correct. So we come in here, which is going to get us our final missile upgrades. Now we have infinite missiles. What was over there? Was that a, um, an armor upgrade, I think? Maybe? So we come back out here, and obviously if I touch the ground, I'm going to die. I believe I will die. I don't know. Maybe I won't completely die, but I will take a lot of damage. So we just use the hookshot to our advantage, come in here for that this upgrade, which is our final armor upgrade. And slam in the vent because I'm very, very angry for no reason whatsoever. Okay, so we got all those upgrades from the beginning of the game. So basically what is left, guys? We have this upgrade right here, which I don't remember at all. What it is. Actually... It has to be the final gold bar because the only thing left is the final gold bar which will let us into there and the upgrade down here which we can now get and this which is what I can only assume is the final gold bar because I believe we have all the armor upgrade or the we have all the armor we have all the health and we have all the weapon upgrades I believe we have infinite everything so yes so things are coming to a close. I'm going to wrap around outside next video.
So I'm going to end this here. In the next video, we're going to get outside. All right. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.